Hey guys, so I didn't get this on film, but I just caught this, I would say, five, six inch uh, poor mouth. And he swallowed the hook. See right here? The hook is through his gills. I don't know how that happened. It's through his gill. So I don't think he's going to make it. So we're going to flay this one up. So stay tuned. All of a sudden, they're being finicky. <laughs> what a fail. What a so fail. Karma. First warm mouth and eyes. Right here. Good size. I think we're going to cut that one up. Let's be fat belly to him. Pretty heavy. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, we just got our two, two green ear sunfish we got here. They're both seven inches this one seven and a half and that one's seven on the dot and i got the play board i'll put you guys on time lapse mode and just stay tuned Okay, so we got the the little fillets here. There's not that much from those two little bluegill, the green and something fish. So stay tuned for the part when we start cooking them. One thing to add, guys, is we are soaking these in water. Nothing else, just water. So I got this on 450 and I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on here. That'll be good. I'm just going to put that on there and I'm going to go bread up the fish now. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is crack an egg into here. Got the egg. And just throw the salami. Then we're going to put a little bit of milk in here. That'll be good. Got that. Punch up some crackers. Okay, that'll be plenty. Now let's go get the fish. So we let the fish soak overnight. Okay, you're gonna dry this off. Yes. Okay, you're gonna dip. Whoopsies. <laughs> gonna dip this in the egg, and then dip this in the cracker crumbs. So we get a flake on. Give it a flake on the outside. And there's the first filet right there. 
not that big, just a little bluegill, cuttlefish. We'll take the next one, try that. Dip it in there, get it good and wet. Then take it out, put it in here, and just keep repeating that process. I got my four little fillets right here. So I'm just gonna plop them on. Okay, got those on. Now we'll let them cook for a little bit. Okay, so we just got these cooking. We'll cook them for a little bit. And this is an old recipe my dad got taught from my mom's my mom's mom. So yeah, this is an old recipe and it tastes really good. After about a minute and a half, uh, they're golden brown on the outside. So we're gonna flip it and get the other side going. Um, with the cracker crumbs, it makes these small bluegill fillets bigger, so it gives it more uh, substance and stuff, so makes it a pretty good fillet, just good appetizer, and if you have a lot, it can make a really good meal. So right here we got our finished product. We got uh, four pieces. Well, this one broken half, so we technically have five just little chunks of uh, sunfish right here. So that's a good appetizer right there. If you had a lot of bluegill or sunfish, that would be a good meal. So let's get the first taste of it. Taste of them. Get the first chunk. Falling apart. That's good. Nice and flaky. Mmm. That's really good. It just tastes like normal bluegill or sunfish is sun this is good. Nice and falls apart, good flaky. And you can add salt too, just a little bit of salt. Forgot to do that, but that's okay. Tastes just as good. So I'm gonna finish up eating this piece. I'm gonna run these two, last two pieces up to braid. He couldn't make down here, he's got some family stuff. So if he's home, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this up to him. So yeah, really recommend the sunfish. They're really good. Leave it down in the comments if you'd like to see more like to see more of us like to see us do more uh, catch and cooks because really good. I like to do that. Okay, right. thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We do anything outdoors.